Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Full Throttle Remastered version. One of the classic Lucasfilm, LucasArts games. Point and click adventure games, of course. Um, it's a remastered, yeah, remastered, remastered, da, 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 da. okay, everything should be alright. It tells a story, I think, a bit in an alternate future. Uh, we're talking about flying cars and the main, main protagonist is um, gang member, more like gang captain of a motorcycle gang I hope you'll like it I really like the story and of course it's uh, Lucas films point and click from the old days so it's bound to be great yep Lucas Arts also, uh, as I told you already Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are.
Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right! Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm... An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen. I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it. I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come! In this film, start the game. And we're out. Um, I've woken up and worse. Yeah, I guess so. I've touched it enough. Yeah, I also. I'm putting my so. lips on that. I can can't take... see any use for those. Nope, we can't take anything out of those. Empty boxes. Empty. You really should flatten these so they can be recycled. Wise words, man. Let's go back inside. I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Open up. I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Okay. 
Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Let's ask Where'd him. Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Hmm. Aren't you? you? Know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. That's a good question. Let's look at everything in here. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Yeah, might. Yeah. Butter. Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dick. Okay, we have keys to our motorcycle. Can we check it out? Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good. Good for him, we know. Let's go out. I hey, don't think so. Hey, you the A number one pole cat honcho. Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? <laughs> and you're dead. That does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Oh, and I got ass kicked. And he got us kicked. That's the keyword in here. <laughs> and we lost the wheel. No problem there. Ben, may we maybe wake up? Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Okay. What are you? 
I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Okay, let's go to, to the bottom. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Nice. Renegade. Wrong post. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay, so I know what I need to do. Um, we need forks, we need her torch, and we need some fuel. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Okay. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Hmm. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Okay, that sounded a bit off. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. And we take the gas can? Yep, we can. Photograph. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Oh, I guess this will be a pretty important information. Okay, nothing in here. Good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Okay. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Uh, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm with our wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Oh, she took it. Okay, so... Oh, mailbox. 
anything in the mailbox that we could take? It's empty. Empty. Never mind. So we go to the map. And she got in the car and rode off. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Yeah. F yourself. Let's start in here. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very subcode wiring. Mm, yeah, I think we already know what ha what's happening Locked, there. But flimsy looking. <clears throat> okay. Who's out there? Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need. Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. Oh, okay. What do you want? Boom. You didn't take it. This view defines true beauty. I think he's had enough. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, something in the cabinet. A lockpick. It's empty. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Let me open the refrigerator. Oh, we can take some meat. Oh, and we go down. So maybe we'll be able to take the welding torch. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Yep, now we go look at the junkyard or the forks. Okay, this looks a bit closed. Open up, Todd. Okay. Chain. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. And I. Okay, I can't. Okay, I get it. Can't just get in there. So maybe we can get the gas. And by any chance we already have a lockpick. A gas can. A gas can won't help here. Okay, let's just go up. Nope. Let's try to hide. Before the police comes. What are they? Did he go? <clears throat> Nobody's there. But who set off the alarm before? Maybe someone is just fooling with us. Uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. Guess I will be taking your guts instead. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. 
He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. <laughs> nice one. Let's take their gas. They don't have forks, so... We we'll have to look for them a bit longer. Um, starting to feel like I'm missing something. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> I'm missing something. I don't trust anything without wheels. I don't have any holes. Can I leave for now? Yeah, I can. Can I take the lock? I also can. Um, not not on foot. Not on foot. Can I take something from you? In the meantime? What's in there? Apparently this guy has a dog. Yes, one out. Okay, let's try to go down. Maybe we miss some kind of holes. Grab. Although uh, I don't think so. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. I nominate that as least offensive of show. But sugar, I won't let it go to my head. I hope he's not trying to bring this to life or anything like that. Nope, I don't see any kind of holes in here. Um, let's go to the junkyard. What if I pull the chain? And put the lock on it. That's not something I want to lock. Nope. That's not something I want to lock. Maybe if I lock the gate, I could go up the chain. It won't move right now, right? It's blocked by the uh, gate. Yeah. Ah, uh, junk. In some kind of dog. No, no, mate. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Cars. No, thank you. No. Okay. I think I'm there. And there is a dog in here. Can we put the meat in? Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Okay, now we need to do something with the car where he's in. Maybe this will be enough. We'll see in a second. 
Well, can you move a bit quicker? No, no. Sometimes you just have to wait. I'd better get out of here. I'd better get out of here. Why? He's uh, in there. Junk. Uh, junk. Uh, junk. Uh, junk. That's one ill-tempered mongrel. Uh, junk. I'd better get out of I'd better get out of Cars. No thank you. Let me take from the parts pile. <clears throat> yes. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Just gotta gas her up and go. Yep. But I still don't have the hose. I don't suppose there's... There's one lying over here. <laughs> we go back. Oh, we use host. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get it. Where? Over there. Quick, you go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. Okay, they went out. We're pretty much done. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. <laughs> Just like me. All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster? You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Will do, Mo. Will do. Riding back again, looking for the ambush, I guess. Oh, uh, it's after the ambush, I think. All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking. We need to find another way. Yeah, I know it's the other way, but... You won't go where the ambush is. And we need to get past the cops.
already said my okay. good time. What I'm gonna Is it the arm again? You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units follow me. I think so. Just do it like that. Yeah, they're coming here and we're riding off. Looking for the ambush. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full When she blew my gasket I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love <sighs> Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley. Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Burger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Burger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat it. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Yep. Got to see what's lying in here. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. 
Looks All like right, someone it. searched this place in a hurry. Nothing oh. left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. And take the camera. So we get on a bike. And we move that way. I think so, at least. Try that way. I think we'll go back to the bar where we started. Yep. That's a good idea. Okay, what's up with the truck? Or is that sucker's mine? Look, I really need a ride. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? What? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Mm-hmm. Let's talk with the guy with the helmet. Because this is his, Sammy. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only, pigs. Hmm. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quohog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. True, true to that. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good right. talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quoho. Okay. If I talk to talk with Look, the bartender. Let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Nope. If I try to hit Emmett. He's got a knife. He's got Emmett? a knife. Look he at Emmett. Look happy. Nope. Can I... Wait, wow, 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 wow. Show him the photo? I need to get to this place. Uncle Pete's me, Grinch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. And I show him the photo? Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's me, Grinch. Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Members of the Polecat Gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. 
Authorities have issued an all points bulletin. They got the pole cats. Save them. I'm at. Don't be a dick. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. Oh, no I need more. to get to this place. Uncle Beats me, Grinch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. No. He's got a knife. He's got a Fight knife. Him. You barked on her? Let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Nope. Piano? Yeah, right. Kick it. Play. No nope. talking to you. Not not on foot. Nope. Oh, I'm on with his semi. Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really need a ride. This sucker's mine. Hey! Oh, something's here. Psst. Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. <laughs> if Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Good question. Probably Mo. In the meantime, let's go to him. Let's show him the fake IDs. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use in one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. <laughs> we all love them. Especially on the... Road! Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the fans, jump and check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you will get your man. <laughs> we stop moving. Can I get out? with your truck yeah <laughs> loose hose and nothing big I, I already pulled your bike out it's sitting right over there well nice knowing you 
Gotta hit the road, you know. Yeah, he stole something. I'm sure about it. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Don't think so. Let me go inside. Uncle Pete's mean crunch. It's the place we're the supposed to be. Yeah, we can get in here. Pictures. Lots of bikes. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't break that lock. And now, uh, pillow. Take the pillow. Yeah, fire iron below it. Can I just use the iron iron with it? Ah, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? Fuck, she was here. Yeah, he did it on the fly. We've got time. Freaking hell. Did you have to do that? This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Hmm. A lot of weight on those babies. Let me take the fire uh, iron. Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. Okay. And if I just try to kick the semi trailer? Punch it? Yep. Punching it was enough. But what did it give us? What a mess. Can I take some of the fertilizer? Maybe I'll just take a little. Yeah, I can. 
Yeah. Semi trailer look. I'd call that a road hazard. Okay, a road hazard. We will go back on ourselves, I guess, to the mean crunch. At least for now. Yeah, we can control how he's going for now. Yeah, we got back to the main crunch. But they are here. <laughs> Look at him run. We take them out somehow with the fertilizer. It would be great. Maybe we could go back to the mink farm and check some stuff out. Mine road, mine road. And the fertilizer. Got. We got them good. Boss, it was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the Corley women out of hiding with a bike. Boss, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. we have here hmm no no fine one of the gorgeous many casualties who is he one of the gorgeous many casual professor schmetterling's experimental flying suit okay. this is the last picture ever taken of professor schmetterling ricky myron's infamous gorge jump can we take this nah. That's federal prop. Oh, we can Okay, let's go on the bike. Let's try to hit the mean crunch again. Maybe we'll find something out there. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Why it didn't work? Oh, pushed the wrong button. Okay, once more. Uh, we go this way. 
attached to their truck. Could be on the left. We take anything from the thunder? Hope so. Touch anything without wheels. You don't yet, you did. And what's that? Can I use it with my bike? Hm, huh, guess so. Looks okay for an aftermarket part. I, I don't walk. Yeah, yeah, get on the bike and let's go to the main crunch. There shouldn't be anyone there, so maybe we'll be able to go back. Let's try to go through the... Somehow she drove through the door, so it should be open. Unless it's automatic. We have a lot of... The barn's locked. Bad luck. Can I take anything from the chest? No. But we are pretty much... I take no it? No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. Is it the vultures, That's right? That's the insignia of the vultures. Yeah, I can't I believe so. Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Truth to that. Okay, let's get on the bike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not going back that way. No. Nope. many cops. Can't go back. You're right, mate. Okay, Ben, let's go here and let's go on the mine road. from the polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? <laughs> the vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. Okay. Those rot wheelers are ugly suckers. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? 
Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? Yeah, fair enough. You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, man. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cape fish got its ramp in their hideout, you know. Uh huh. Where is the cave fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cave fish specs. Okay. Father Tort, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Give him hell, Polecat. I remember correctly, we're gonna be fighting in here. Yep. Which one? Yep. We destroyed her. Oh, 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 oh. But we didn't get anything out of that. And we need the goggles. If he's goggles. Switch weapon back to fire island. Okay. We did him a good job. We have a chain. What will be next? We have a chain. We have a tire iron. We have some fertilizer to throw at them. Ooh. Big boy. Big boy coming. Yeah, it was quick, but I don't think we'll get anything out of him. But here comes the next one. Say there, is that a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-da! We need it. Maybe the next time we'll see him. We'll try to get it. Since more took our. What will you have? You like choppers, huh? Oh, 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 oh. How about this chopper? <laughs> You're firewood, chump. Ah! Fertilizer war. We have a tiny song now. We still need a catfish. Okay, halfway there. Catfish, catfish, catfish. Oh, another big boy. Let's take the tiny song. One shot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is the guy with the turbo, right? Snail 
kill me. Nope. It didn't work. Oh, she's better with it, I guess. Okay, so she can be done only with the fertilizer. The guy with the nitro, maybe with the chain. I don't think big boy has anything. He had some kind of flail. Maybe the guy with the nitro weekend with this spiky school flail. I hope so, it will be nice to get him done. And we have a plank. I don't think that the plank will help us anyway. You need to get hold of this guy. Yeah, let's try with the flail. Nope. Flail doesn't work on him either. You can try the chain and the plank. But it will be at least one to riders. Whoa, okay, fish. Can I fight with space? Is this? Yep! Okay, we've got the cave fish guy. Or don't. Did he just suck him? Blew out. Okay. So not a chainsaw. We need something else. Uh huh. This move over again. Chain. Yep. Chain. That should have a couple of good boosts left in it. And we have the boost. So all we need now is the freaking. Was the cave fish, cave fish man, and his spikes? That's what we need, and that's the last thing that we need. But a few more fights before that. Is the one with the chainsaw? Yeah. Your firewood, chump. Oh, my eye! Yeah, we took down her. We're still looking for a cave. Yeah, and we have a cave fish. Okay. Maybe with the flail. Nope. Flail is back. Flail won't work. So flail is overall not good. Chainsaw just killed him. I mean, he killed himself, but no. Can still try a few things, like blank. So many bikes destroyed by this mindless war. Bicycle gangs. Hey, fish, not a big man. Hey, fish. My bike. My bike. Hey, fish, hey, fish, hey, fish. Where are you?
Yeah, we got another okay fish. And fertilizer? No, fertilizer won't work. Uh, it was kind of funny. Never mind. Can be brought down. Chainsaw. Oh, Everyone now can be brought down with the chainsaw apart from the cave fish. Already tried the flail. Tried the chainsaw, tried the fertilizer, now we're gonna try it the plane. And the plank is also not an answer. Only a chainsaw work. And I just got up. By a mistake, but never mind. We'll get their back in the next draft. Let's get sours. How do I fight you, okay, fish? That's the only thing that I can think of. Yep, we did it. Got the catfish guy and we've got the goggles. Now we just need to equip the goggles. And look for the entry to their hideout. Catfish hideout. Once we get to the hideout we should be able to get the ramp. We got to the hideout. And we found out the rock. Take it. Remember what the father said? They are blind. They are blind. So we need 
get them off the way. Somehow I can. Can I use the fire iron? No. I wanted to push them out of the way in here. Maybe I need to go further along the way. So we need to get those yellow dots on the road so they go off the road or something. And we left the road. Where'd he go? And who was he? My brothers, we have been visited by a spirit. The spirit of Ricky Myron, come to reclaim his ram. Why did he leave it here? He can't use it because he is a spirit. He is only expressing his anger, which we must honor. Oh, angry spirit of Ricky Myron, we honor your rage. But for now, the ramp must go back. You be just fuck. Okay, let's go back. the ramp for now, push it. That's how it works, we need to get the ramp. Okay, so now we get on the bike. We need to remove those dots with the ramp. That's why I couldn't use it before. Now, use the ramp. And they die. I'm done with these boys. Okay, we've got the ramp, we've got the hoovers, we've got the booster, we should be able to just jump. Maybe a bit quicker, mate. Huh? Ben. Almost there. Now we will stop at either the semi or the car of those two bozos. Let's just see what will come first. Yep, car of the bozos. Now we go back. We try to jump off the bridge. Onion. Oil. Oil. Oil, the oil. I don't like her. Alright, I have 
modified my bike enough. Never mind. Could have done it from the start. Oh! It's taking quite a runway. Get in. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Okay, so we can't get in. And we go oh, oh. You don't. Souvenirs here. We got your hats. We got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. <clears throat> what can I get you? Why are all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Corley hardtail, completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large. Eh. Eh, no, but they're pretty shrunk. No, thanks. Hmm. Actually, let me think about it. He who hesitates goes home with Jack, and his kids hate him. Thanks for the warning. Better let you get back to work. All right, matey. Drive your own derby car by remote control. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great. You killed the batteries. We got your t-shirts here. All sizes and colors. It's out of juice. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. <clears throat> What can I get you? I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Bunnies, and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Um. Can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. What do those pennants say on them? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. Still, look great on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll, uh, think about it. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here. 
even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. Better let you get back to work. All right, matey. Uh, you, big fella. Come, all right. Let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe ya. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. Nope. If I go here. That's the old hardtail Mo restored with Malcolm. Can I get in here? It's the exit. It only spins one way, and it's the wrong way. I'm not going in there. They all think I killed their beloved leader. Okay, so I can't. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. It's out of juice. Don't be a cheap jerk. Bye. No. It's out of juice. If we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> Okay, let's get on the bike. There should still be at least one place we should be able to go, but only on the bike. side of this field. I've heard a lot about the vultures. And nothing was and good. I guess it's all true. Yeah. Those weapons were at a weight. No way, Jose. So I know why we need the rabbits. This one RC car won't help us. Let's go back down there and find a way to move the old guy. Pat the bunny. You know you want to. You just can't get... I'm saving that chain. And it's cheap. It's meant for nuts. It's meant for nuts. I'm practically giving this loot... Excuse me, but are those shirts, um, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. Hey, I've got one bunny. 100% cotton. Oh, um, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. What's a couple of bucks in exchange for a timeless memento? It's out of juice. These souvenirs all have an expected appreciation rate of 300% per year. Don't crowd everybody, there's enough for everyone. A bunny won't do much. That's right, official Corley Motors. Not putting it back, no. Don't go away empty handed. Come on. It's meant for nuts. Pat the bunny, you know you want okay, to. Okay, we have one bunny. Maybe we need to just take it for a spin on the minefield. And then we will think about how we need more of them. Maybe we'll find a way to move the old man. I can steal from him. It's a stupid that he comes. We need to go the to the vultures. Been replanted. Tidy little. One money, one money. <laughs> that's for sure, but we have a battery. So that might be what we were looking for. Mm. 
Let's go down again. Come on, give me a break. And so a I cheat put the too. In no. Here. I'm practically giving this loot away. Car? That should put some life into it. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. I'm practically giving this loot away. Uh. Okay, that's far enough, bud. Hey, don't go in there. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now, it's now we can take the bunnies. bunnies. Need those. Go through the minefield. Old and scary minefield. Hey, go back. You want your bicycle? And we'll go through the minefield. I think we might be a bit over the half of the game. I don't walk. I don't walk. Nah. Okay. I didn't think about that. But there's also a back entrance to the factory. a long way to go. Dynamo. 
help. Did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> That was a shit move, Sorry. Mo. Uh, you yeah. better be. Well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Mo's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> That's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? Uh -oh. Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium <laughs> salute to the princess of Pile-Up, Doreen Schmorley. Oh, Sick of me. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight, a deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Okay, we move to the left mouse button. And they won't let me move. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers move. Here and nail me. Not so easy, to be honest. I 
remember I need to it's over there. Yeah, we move. Back to the right of bottom. Forever. I'm moving. Okay, you won. Yeah, I can, okay, so you need to use him as a bridge. Yeah, How we did it. There's an explosion, ladies and gentlemen. Can't see any survivors. Wait, what's that? It's the unknown Avenger, and he's on fire. Let's give him a hand, folks. That looks painful. We really should put him out right away, but what a show, huh? This is your moment to shine. I guess the <laughs> Everybody already doing that. Finally. Now squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Okay. Oh, 
moment they come back here, I need to jump on them, I guess. didn't work exactly as I can. Hmm. One more time. Fire somehow. Yep. What happened? I was Did you get him? To get to the fire. We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us ten thousand shares of stock each. Hmm, funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike, but I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. And if I lined up that crack with my eye level and kicked the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. Hmm. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff, and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh-huh. Great. Now help me find that key. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. This baby's flying days are over, just like mine. Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Right. You're not very helpful. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Can I speak to her? What if I can't find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. That kicking part is pretty vague. Look, I was only six. Give me a break. I'll see what I can do. Right. We have a lot of bunnies. Hmm. And I think we could open. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I have no yeah, idea. Take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. Never mind. We go to the back of the factory. We need to find the crack in the wall and pick the wall. Pick the correct stone. Or this might happen. When everything is. supposed to be a huge crack on her eye level and she was what six it shouldn't be here Could be like here. Okay. We got the hatch. Or is desk? Furniture moving? No. Floor safe. Zero to nine. Six digits. Okay, we need to go back. Zero to nine. I, I don't walk. Ah, you don't walk. And I don't negotiate with terrorists, you know. I need to pick one of those. This is six. This can't be this. Won't be this. Has to be this. Fifteen forty four ninety two. Where are you, Ben? You need to keep moving. This is almost the end. Go to the back, inside, floor, floor, sorry, floor safe, 15, 44, 92. There's uh, some sort of card, a tape, I sure hope that's Corley's will. Card and a tape, okay, we need that. Locked. And if I use the heart? Cool. Looks like the meeting started. Was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected,
Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Trying to kill me. What the? What the hell is going on up there? I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh, uh, yes. As I was saying, I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. <laughs> and if I do it once more. And I said to the president. Ay, ay, ay. This is intolerable. I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh, yeah, yes. Now then. Man, that Rip Burger can yap. Where does he get this crap? Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security! Help! Security! Okay, got the run. What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it. Mavis must be saying things. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. These need more exposure than that. These need more exposure than that. What you see before you right now is my vision for Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> You know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote <laughs> about a... Uh, uh, I... Well, I'm out of ideas. Yeah, you stand there and think and... I will change it. Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. <laughs> Hello there! If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripper. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, 
I'm sorry you had to hear that tape from one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where do you hobble off to? Uh-oh. Got the wrong enough to And then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That is great, Ben. I find where we were meant to be all along. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet. Not this time. They made it move. That's an achievement. No. Higher iron. No. Bunny. No. Iron, Iron, okay. Nope. I was too slow. And we're all done. That's one of the endings. Mm -hmm. Let me try that again. She interrupted my speech, Ben. She really shouldn't have. I was just about to talk about the inherent dangers of the motorcycle operation. Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? Apparently he can. Okay, plan is going after us. We go with the wheel. No fun. Tunnel up. We get. He's cane. More than a cane when I'm through with you, Rip Burger. Can we use the cane in the farm? Yeah, we can use that. I don't 
see a nut anywhere in that. Thank you, though. Bark. I thought you said this thing couldn't move. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Well, flying would be nice since we're headed for the gorge. Ripburger, you're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben, don't move. How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the cockpit. Not, not leak the cockpit. Go. You shot me already like twenty times. So much for the controls. I could have used those. Something has to be working in here. I told you. Control system. Emergency engine failure. No military crisis. No control loss. Brake systems. Emergency trail brakes. Wrong. Brakes. Nope, it's not working. Right, this um truck shoots not working. And we're done. No. Let me try that again. Try again. This is what we need to push. Now this. Take off. Post take off. Gear. Right here. Nothing. What the? No! Oh, so that's how we do it. We try to get ben, what up like do? that.
Now we need to make Rip Burger, burger ben, fall. Ben, uh, are you alive? We go alive. I don't know about Rip Burger. I can see him. He's out cold. Climb back here, quick. Machine guns, control, time, lower. Ah, machine guns, maintenance. No, defense, machine guns, control. This time off. I will burger and beat a curly. This one. Well, the answer's then. One hell of a tough guy. Wait, come back! We need your weight in the plane! And I take my bike here. Ooh, His own rules. He was a mystery to most of us, and yet an inspiration to us all. He gave us freedom, he gave us power, he gave us wings, he gave us wheels. Thank you, Malcolm Corley. Given us a dream that will never die. So. So. Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now. And living in a mansion and riding around in limos. Well, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But Ben... Oh, just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. Kind of Excuse sad. me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 good, great. Okay, thanks guys for watching. That was Full Throttle Remastered version. I really like the game, although it's quite short for a LucasArts games. But I was waiting a really, really long time to play it. And I really like uh, all the setting, all the music. But I'm pretty sure that YouTube will try for me to remove it. But never mind. I like the design of the characters. Great game. Like it, baby.